What's up, everybody? This is Steve Sarlacci. Today, I wanted to showcase one of my favorite guitars that I've ever owned, one of my favorite guitars of all time, something that I'm incredibly lucky to have, super excited that I got it. I'm gonna tell you how I got it and uh, tell you a little bit about it. Right here in front of me, I have my 1968 Fender Telecaster. Real 1968. Look at the nice fretware on it. Awesome sonic blue color. This is not the original color. This is actually a refin that I got. I mean, I got super lucky with this one. I'm just so fortunate to, to have this. Forget about what it is, but 68's always been like a dream year for me because I'm a big fan of guys like Brad Paisley, James Burton, uh, Brent Mason. All these guys play 68 tellies, so I figured there had to be something in the sauce type of thing. So I've been, you know, I'm sure you're all the same, where you're like scouring Craigslist every day just for window shopping and uh, seeing what's out there. So one day I came across this beautiful sonic blue, and if you know me, I'm a Superman fan, all my guitars are blue. I love blue guitars. So I see a sonic blue 68 Tele, and I'm like, that thing is nice. It was so sexy in the pictures, it was so nice. So I had just looked at it on Craigslist for like, probably six or seven months, maybe even up to a year. At the time, I didn't have cash to buy the thing, so it was just, like I said, window shopping, just looking and, and wishing that it was mine. So I took a shot in the dark one day after about, like I said, like seven months to a year of being on Craigslist, took a shot in the dark trade deal with who's now a friend of mine, Mike. So if you're out there, Mike, thank you for the deal. Swapped a bunch of gear. Turns out I had something that he really wanted and we made it happen and I brought home my dream year, 68 Tele, in probably the coolest color that I've seen one. No complaints there. So what is it about these guitars in particular that make them so special? First off, I think from late 67 through 69 were the only years that they did this, but if you look, there's no skunk stripe on the neck, for starters. So what that means is that this is a maple cap on top of the neck. So normally you'd have the skunk stripe that is how they put the truss rod into these guitars. But these are, like I said, maple caps, so it's just a pure straight maple background. I'll put some close-up footage of this so you can see what it looks like. And if you look close, you can see there's a little bit of a maple cap as the fretboard. So it's a fret maple fretboard on top of a maple neck. Really awesome checking on the neck, on the headstock. The fret wear is just so awesome. It also had a refret, which I really love because they're a little bit bigger than what would normally be on this and I like bigger frets and I cannot lie. So they were, they did a really great job of maintaining the fret wear on the fingerboard, which I love the look of. Nice checking on the body. Whoever did this refin did a really, really nice job. There's really authentic checking and authentic wear. The I guess now it's considered, is this considered mint or it was supposed to be white or a faded white pick guard? Just matches the, the blue, so cool. I believe that there was a run of a very few guitars and I think like Keith Richards had one, an actual Sonic Blue 68 that came from the factory like that, which this, I feel like it looks exactly dead on like, so I'm really, really happy with how this came out. It's still got the original tuners on it and the only thing that is swapped that's not original would be the pickups. So it's the original bridge. I have the original saddles up in the case. The case is not original according to uh, Mike, the guy I got it from, but it's still a appropriate era 60s hard case. It's got a four-way switch, and I'm assuming that the pots are not original as well. So the electronics were definitely ripped out. At one point it was routed for a humbucker under here, so there's a little bit of a route that's been filled in before the refin, so it's refinned over that. And now it's restored to a classic, you know, two pickup telly. These are Lindy Fralins. They sound so good. This bridge pickup is such a great classic telly sound. This neck pickup, I'm pretty sure is, sounds just like a Strat neck pickup, which now this is my go-to guitar. I can't play Strats for shit. I suck at playing Strats. I don't know what it is, but pop this into the neck position and it gets me exactly where I want to be. And these two together are in series, in the fourth position up, which I never reuse. It doesn't do anything for me. I might swip it, switch it out for a real three-way, just get it back to a classic telly sound, and I think I'd be much happier with that. It's a little annoying when I'm playing and I try to flip up fast to the neck pickup, and I wind up in this, you know, the two pickups combined, and nah, it's not my type of sound. 
So I have to like go up and then back one or be really precise with flicking it up. So I'm going to plug it in and let's hear what it sounds like. Mm-hmm. 
So thank you guys for taking the time to watch the video. Uh, hope you dug the content and enjoyed checking out my 68 telly. Audrey's not impressed. You see Audrey back there? Not impressed. <laughs> so I hope you liked the video. Um, if you can, get your hands on a 68. You won't regret it. And thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Audrey, what are you doing back here? You're making the blooper reel now. Say hello. Who's he cuckoo? You're not impressed, are you? <laughs>